Okay, let's go live. They are just online. I'm very pleased to introduce my friend Akif Suna. He's from Hello. Turkish Republic. Hello. Hello. From the city Eskashehir. Is it right? Yes, more or less. Right. Well, to, to tell it just with a Turkish accent. Eskishehir. 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 Yes, Sorry about it. Eskishehir. Yes. Because E and U uh, sometimes difficult to remember. Eskishehir. Sorry about it. Okay, fine. Today we're just meeting together just on this stream to show different insects you know, which we collected on video. On video because Actually, I'm a research entomologist. Akif, he is just a student, but he's interested very much in some insects, especially not in a big insects, not in a big animals like that, big animal. So is in a very small animals, really very small animals. But parasitic wasps, parasitic hymenopter wasps, they are very small. Okay, a big one, six millimeters. This is a really very big. But some very small, about one millimeter, less than one millimeter, half a millimeter, and the smallest 0.2 millimeters size. This is a megaphragma, egg parasitoid of thrips, very tiny insects. So you can see it thrips about this size, one millimeter, and parasitoid is just one third part of thrips, 0.2. So today we will show for our audience in recorded mode, actually it will be saved, uh, different insects. For example, I show some parasitoids, not parasitoids, from my collection, from my collection, because now it's the summertime, so easy to find, to record, and to show different insects. Akif today was very busy with examination, so this summertime is um, slightly busy, busy. Maybe not so much time to go to the nature, to the park for fresh air. Did you have some time to just for rest? Yes. Uh, I went yesterday for uh, seeing insects. Where I missed ah, them. So, is it hot today in uh, in Iskisha here? Yes, it, it is hot. Pretty what hot. Rain? Is it a rain? What about, your country? What about in Ukraine? Uh, this, uh, this latest, uh, just one week, we had a rain. So, some sunshine, rain, sunshine, rain. It's called, it's a, in telephone, it's always uh, been written thunder, thunder, maybe boo, thunder, expected, expected. But it was maybe one, two times during the week it's uh, not very heavy not very heavy rain in some places rain and some places not rain and all again today okay maybe 30 25 30 centigree degree centigree so what about insects i show the first insect which is quite interesting i start from the beginning from insect which is coming usually in the summertime from a spring. Not very small, pretty big one. First one. First one, this is insect belonging to the fa family Torimide. Torimide. With a lone ovipositor. And this is uh, genus Monodontomerus. Monodontomerus. There is a a revision of world species of monodontomerus. Mm, I guess how many species? 22 species are known in the fauna of world. 22 species. And this species is a special one. This is parasitoid of solitary, solitary bees. Not honeybees, but solitary bees which are living in some empty holes. Solitary bee like osmia. Osmia. This is like a stem, and osmia is belonging to family Megahelidae, leaf-cutting bees, living inside, parasitizing 
larvae of bees inside different tubes. Well, one of my friend gave me some cocoons, some cocoons of osmia, solitary bee, and from some cocoons uh, emerged bees, and they are living in my balcony, solitary bees. But from another cocoon, these parasitoids were coming and were crawling around my window. I found one, two, and finally on the ceiling, I found on the top of window hundred of them because they hatched, emerged, and were flying directly to the light and were crawling on the top. So we were co I collected them near the window because they escaped from container. We made a hole inside container, two holes, and all this crowd escaped directly to the window. So they size about size about five millimeters. They are not very small, five millimeters. So I say they are quite big. Osmia be approximately the same size as a honeybee. So in one cocoon, it should be maybe five, six individuals will be developing in one cocoon of Osmia bee. So they look very funny. Some another species, they have a different ovipositor. This is stick can be long or can be shorter. Size uh, another species can be smaller. So we have some horns. Okay, morphology can be different. And in, in my working window, usually in summer, some monodontomerus coming inside my house, inside my laboratory. And because this in this case, we try to escape. But usually we are searching for, for bees outside <coughs> of my laboratory outside on the bricks because uh, osmia bees were making nests in between bricks between bricks outside of building and this in another species of monodontomera searching for them searching for them sometimes and sometimes coming inside my house and dying near windows so that's why i already collected smaller species before. Another individual I show you, still I already prepared. This is from collection also in laboratory, weevils. Weevils were sitting in laboratory. Um, this is Cetophilus, Cetophilus zeamis, Cetophilus zeamis on corn. Corn weevil, corn weevil. So they can eat usually grain. There are three species, most important. And one small bruchide were coming. Big one was bruchide, just coming. This is another species. These are called grain weevils. They can eat grain. We can eat grain and develop inside grain. But sometimes, if you give them a piece of bread, they eat bread too. So you see, they're trying to hide inside bread. So usually if you show them near the light, they try to escape. They do not like very much light because they're usually hidden somewhere. But it depends. It depends from situation. Sometimes they come to light. But usually we try to escape. But here I there under microscope with heavy light, so we have no choice to escape. So again, so <laughs> Bruchide was coming. So we put the uh, we put the head inside bread. So okay. So what did you prepare to show for this our video chat? Let's try to show your videos. Okay. We added to stream your, I found your an app, uh, Trying to steal the Osmia bee. Okay. One of a solitary bee. Maybe this is not Osmia. 
because you see yeah. here like mm, this is not uh, these are ki kind of megahelide bees or sphecide bees because uh, here is, this is kind of like propolis like a gum like a gum this is not uh, uh, soil this is not soil this is like a small piece uh, from gum maybe from plants and this is a door and I found maybe this is a bee and trying to catch it okay very interesting situation very funny so this is a fighting fighting of two, two insects yeah some some bees they do make even some nests inside snails you know snails this yes. is animals more slowly crawling like grape snail grape snail is a big one okay not so big maybe two centimeters some snails smaller and some bees coming inside snail like to house and living inside ma and making a nest inside snail shell inside shell uh, like a ball this will be like a ball so some species of megahelide and or like antidium antidium genus so we're living okay let's show next one And I show my, uh, and I will search for. I will search for my next video. In, in my folder. But the snail uh, <coughs> was uh, empty, right? There was no snail. Yes, in the empty shell. Oh, yes, that's right. Of course, we do not kill snail. No. When I kept this monodontomerus, there are some. There are still some cocoons inside. And some monodontomerus were thinking this is a good cocoon. So you see, some females try to oviposit. At least they try to check situation. So we hatched from some cocoons. These are cocoons of osmia. So uh, and some were just trying to check what is the situation. Maybe we're healthy. But okay. I, I, I got to the situation. This is, was interesting. I recorded it because we're making special position, very special position. Yeah, it's a great moment. So quite interesting because we op open ovipositor and we open this very, very tiny needle. This needle is important. Just this is a, like a needle, like a to put egg inside. Okay. I sh check something else. I will check new one. Yes, yeah. And I show okay, one in is quite interesting. Okay, okay, we can show this one. Here, here I show you this is a small tube, and inside this tube, one small trichogrammatida is crawling. You see, this is a one small, in, this is up in dwarf tube, and inside some eggs of beetles. This is a big trichogrammatida. This is a, a one genus which is weakly studied. So it was experiment. If you go give some eggs of host, these are small pieces, black one. This is a eggs of a Cassida. Cassida, this is a chrysomelide beetles. Leaf leaf eating beetles, leaf feeding beetles, chrysomelide. And Cassida, this is subfamily. Cassidine, very flattened. Yeah, turt they call turtle beetles. Yeah, turtle be be beetles, very flattened. 
And we lay eggs also flatten eggs. We usually lay eggs under the side of it, and the leaves. And there are two species recorded in the Turkish Republic. Monodorta heta nigra and galatica. So this is nigra. And very active, very active female. Uh, I gave them some eggs of a beetles inside the tube and parasitoid also tried to oviposit. So the size of this insect one millimeter less than one millimeter, bigger than trichogramma. Trichogramma is a half of millimeter. Yes, there is really tiny. And this is just about one millimeter. But very active, we're crawling all the time, all the time, and lived about maybe five five days. This was special experiment for give when you give eggs of host, parasitoid will immediately attack. Attack and lay eggs. Okay, let's show your insect. Okay. Uh, okay. This one here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here, oh, yeah. just. Yes, I see. Because I didn't see it. Okay, who is that? This is a mast bee called uh, family Colletide. Colletide. So, and what is the place? Uh, in a rock. Stone wall. Stone wall. Yeah. Why you said in Iraq? Yeah, stone wall. I mean. Ah, yeah, well, yeah. Because we like sometimes some bricks and so stony walls. We live between, somewhere between, between stones. We are making, we try, we try to find small hole and enlarge it. We're making a small hole and we're making it bigger, bigger, bigger and making inside some several cells and bringing pollen, bringing pollen. Okay, someone sending us Meraba. <laughs> Greetings. Meraba. Uh, so, yes, someone is interested in some animals like uh, asking, asking us. So some new people are coming. Someone asked, who, who are you? So I said, this is a young man from Turkish Republic. So Turkish, Turkish man. That's why he next one said, said Meraba. OK, very interesting. Let's go forward. Let's check new one. And I will search for new next one. So did you see it just near your house usually? because? Right? Yes. Okay. Send. Okay. No, no. Wait, 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 wait. I share just video file next one. Okay. And here I just show how I looks like under microscope. When I search in a microscope, I'm looking for insects. So these are insects under the microscope. So this is tiny trichogramma. This is a female, female with short antenna and ovipositor. And here may be bigger magnification. So antenna, this downside, this is antenna, wing, leg, and what is, and, and head, head. And here, this is ovipositor, ovipositor. So this is female. And now it's just, I change, change position. And we'll show just uh, the, the male. Yes, someone and not, next one will be male. Come, come. Well, this is male, not in a famous position, but with different, different antenna, 
Antony is bigger and hairy. Yeah, hairy. hairy. Yeah, so this is bigger. Here some mandibles, head, head in, in both sides. We see hairy, hairy antenna. It's really interesting. And size about 0 0.5 millimeter, half of millimeter. So, and here on the top, small genitalia. Small genitalia here. Uh, picture not very good because it's a very high magnification and I am just made it, made it directly with my camera put it on the top of microscope so very simple way so that's why objective little bit dirty probably some small post dirt visible so but Picture was quite interesting. Okay, look, this is female. Okay, let's show the next one. For example, previous insect, I showed you small one, but how you see, with a zoom, I made bigger magnification. And insect became bigger. Come, 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 come. Ah, right. I show in next next one. Nevertheless. Okay. This one is interesting too. <clears throat> All right. So new insect is coming, and this is. So here we see two mating beetles two mating beetles so they belong into Rhizomelidae bruchini subfamily bruchini subfamily so male and female bruchide before it was bruchide and this is a genus megabruchidius megabruchidius so quite a big one uh, maybe four millimeters four millimeters for bruchide for Bruchina, they are quite big, so I, sh I will write the genus. Mega, okay, Bruchidius, Bruchidius dorsalis, Bruchina. Yes. And they are living inside seeds. Seeds of Galicia, Galicia, three acanthus, three, three, acanthus, three acanthus. Very common, very common plant inside. In many countries, ornamental plant. This is a big tree with very big spots, big seeds. Very big seeds about this size. Very big seeds. I don't know. Maybe I showed them. So very big seeds. And inside small seeds like fasciolus, like fasciolus, like beans. So this is family Fabacea beans. So they lay eggs. On the in on the top of this seed pods, so here male and female they were just splitting, splitting. Okay, after mating. So, but slowly. <laughs> so, and if you keep and they live inside dry seeds, inside dry beans, which is interesting. Not inside fresh beans of lidicia. Lidicia, this is Latin name. Very common, very big tree like a Sephora. In, in Turkish Republic, very common tree is Sephora. And this is Lidicia, uh, is living and growing everywhere. Everywhere. And the, the big pots where just fall down. They fall down and lay near the tree. No animal eating it, only this beetle. But when I visited Turkish Republic, 
we will not steal these beetles. Maybe we will be slowly flying to Turkish Republic. One day we will come, because this is invasive species came from Asia, as many species came from South, from Asia, from China, and now living inside Europe. So next, next step will be to Turkish Republic. Absolutely. So if you I will be if, waiting for them. I show you the seeds. Probably I because I have some. Wait a minute. <clears throat> yes. Yes. I have this one. These are seeds of Lidicea. I guess if you can recognize it, they are very common. They are growing in summertime and in autumn time they fall down. They fall down and in winter they are just laying near the trees. So very common plant. Did you see it somewhere? Yes, yeah, I saw it. Very yeah. common. As you say. And if you check, if you check, if you try to check, uh, you can try to check. Uh, sometimes possible to find some holes. Sometimes mm, they are not visible because beetles were sitting inside. They do not escape sometimes for a very long time, maybe several months. But you can open this, this seed, pots, pots, and put out seeds. Put out seeds to the box, to the jar. For example, if you put them in a, in a box, in a jar, and just wait, maybe somebody is coming. Yeah, what, just somebody is asking that this is tree with a big needles, with big needles, horns. Yes, so with horns. So we say yes. So, so you can try to check. Maybe they already came. To your place we don't know because insects were spread very quickly so because i was trying to check and it is interesting and some another entomologist also was surprised and tried to check it in other place and still they didn't publish it so still unknown still unknown but will be quite interesting to find so try try to find okay I um, because easy to check just to put to the jar and just wait, wait, wait for a certain time. If beetles inside, they will hatch. They will hatch. They will emerge. One day, one day. And you do difficult to ex expect. Sometimes visible. If you open, you can see already damaged seed. Damaged seed already with hole. And I collected one parasitoid, which was a new species parasitoid of this beetle. This was very surprising. One native species was coming and parasitized the beetle. And later, one person, one entomologist, found it in former Yugoslavia in Serbia. So in published paper, they found also parasitoid of beetle inside this inside these seeds. So this is an interesting story. So try to check it. Or you can sometimes if you can see some seeds of like this of another species another species of plant especially in okay especially in autumn now maybe most of them already fall down but later i i just recently collected one every every toma from small pots from uh, robinia pseudo acacia robinia pseudo acacia and inside small seeds, small seeds, leaving small in other cut seeds, different families. Some can be Euritamide, can be parasites of Euritamide. Pteromalide can be uh, this one. So it can be Eupilmide, Eupilmide, secondary parasitoids on another parasitoid. So, so it can be. In some small seeds can be bruchide, then pteromalide, then just uh, 
El Pilmide and maybe some someone else. So different tropical chain. We say chain. Okay, let's show you insect your your round your pint of beer. Okay. Oh, very tiny. Not really. Uh, very fast. Did you recognize family? No, I didn't. Running very fast. This is family Eupelmide. Eupelmide. Eupelmide has a very special structure of thorax from a, a narrow, narrow body, narrow body, like here on my poster narrow body and flattened flattened sides of thorax and also flattened flattened thorax from the top here very flattened and also we like very much to jump we like very much to jump yes if you touch it we jump in quickly yes you see i like this this is a near window no, I found it in nature. In nature, because some birds just make a noise. Uh, but we are crawling on, on what? On plastic? Yeah, uh, I used... Um, what was that? Beating tray. Ah, beating tray. Yeah. yeah. From, uh, from a tree. Yes, from a tree. So, from tree or from uh, leaves? From leaves. Yes, yes. In, inside... Like inside, uh, you use maybe like a box, and was beating leaves inside box. Mm -hmm. It was like plate. Uh, just on plate, just on plate. I see. And some small insects were crawling, crawling on plate. Uh, yes, very interesting. So size is very less than one millimeter or near one millimeter maybe. But this one was big, I think. Uh, one to three millimeters. Between one or two millimeters. Mm -hmm. Pretty, uh, yeah. For calcium, it was mm, pretty uh, relatively big. <laughs> yeah, two me, two mill, two three millimeters. This is a good one for Eupilmide. Okay, let's show next one, and I prepare my. I I show what I will check mine. Would I share? have some videos from my collection? Mm, here. Here, here. Next one, next one. I check. I can use this one. I All oh, right, I found one interesting animal. Okay. Yes. And this this one's quite small, about near two millimeters. And this is Pteromalida. Pteromalida. Now. Now, on many plants you can find some cocoons, ex cocoons. So this was breeding from cocoon, cocoon of Baconidae. Anyway, ex cocoons Baconidae. So it's a hyperparasite. Yes. Many many pteromalidae are parasitoids of Parasite. Braconidae and Neumonidae. So uh, easy to find them. They're just like a small cocoons, like a spiders. So if you see some cocoons on some leaves or on stems in the nature. 
So you can catch it and you can put them inside tubes and just wait. If these are spiders, spiders will come in. If these are parasitoid, parasitoid will come. Or you will see what kind of parasitoid. Usually, if it is this cocoon was parasitized, so no caterpillars will come and were visible. Here I try, I try to make a bigger magnification to show head and head and thorax. Making a try to make a zoom. Zoom. Because if I sit in inside tube, this is very con convenient to give them small drops of honey. If we hatched, you can give small drops of honey for feeding, so we can live, can believe. And when you can find uh, the similar, similar host, for example, as I showed with eggs, and you can put near the similar host. And in many cases, parasite will attack, parasitize the host, like this chrysomelide. If you can find chrysomelide eggs, <coughs> like this, as I said, turtle, turtle beetles. If you can find small eggs, so some parasitoids will come in, out, hatching. You give them eggs, they will attack eggs. So I will have not only one parasitoid, but two, three. More individuals, better to understand the species, uh, to see some variation. And this is very, or if you give the host, for example, caterpillar or just larva of beetle. If I attack larva of beetle, uh, you can crash the larva and you can see the larva of parasitoid inside larva of host. And this is very impo important for study. Mm -hmm. So, because if you collect, if you give, for example, small larva of beetle, and parasitoid will attack. Then you can, with two needles, where you can crash the larva, and you will see very small eggs or larva of parasitoid. This is special experiment, experiment to find larva of parasitoid, to be sure that this is host is a host of this parasitoid, and maybe larva never been studied. This is most interesting. Larva, egg, uh, and, di and different larvae, different larvae inside host have been never studied because they are very small. So very small, less than one millimeter. So people must be very, very careful to watch under microscope. This is very difficult. This is very difficult. So, but some people try to check caterpillars or eggs, just open them, or pupa. If you open a caterpillar, open pupa, which you suspect, suspect has been parasitized to this pupa or larva. Caterpillar of <clears throat> can be parasitized and host will have some larvae of parasitoid. And this is, will be first new study, a new discovery new discovery of larva. So this is very interesting. For example, for example, this insect. Very easy, for example, to keep some these weevils. This kind of weevils, very different. This is Psalidium maxillosum with big maxilla, with big maxilla. Quite well, you see, it's a very big maxilla. Phytophagous species, Curculeanidae. We should be developing on stems or roots of plants. <clears throat> but some parasitoids can attack eggs of these beetles. And very interesting that some beetles and some insects were in captivity. If you keep them in a small container, okay, in a glass container, for example, petri dish, like here, give them a little bit food, some, okay, some water, drop of water and some leaves. 
were eating leaves and flowers. In captivity, insects may lay eggs. For example, this beetle and other weevils will lay eggs in, in captivity. Very funny <laughs> phrase. <clears throat> and if you go and you can receive eggs of this beetle or other be in captivity. And then if you find a collect in the same place as a host parasitoid, uh, I can put parasitoid inside petri dish. And parasitoid can attack the egg. This is experiment. You give a host egg of beetle anyway, and take parasitoid and parasitoid will attack egg because some parasitoids were egg larval parasitoids. Maybe larva will come and inside larva of beetle will be inside parasitoid. And uh, slowly, larva will be gro slowly growing and parasitoid will be growing inside larva and later hatching from already grown bigger larva. Because beetle is big, egg is more or less small. But <coughs> parasitoid is relatively okay bigger than egg so you can say parasitoid cannot live inside egg but parasitoid will be egg larval parasitoid because egg will grow in to larva larva is growing and parasitoid and <coughs> parasitoid growing inside and if we use take a larva and open it open larva under microscope so we can find larva of parasitoid. It can be discovery. New species of host, new species of parasitoid, uh, ne which never been studied before. Okay, do you have some insects? Yes. Come, come on. So you can try to make experiment with these beetles. Mm -hmm. Feed them with, uh, with some plants, and sometimes we just drop eggs, like chicken. We just drop eggs chicken, like chicken in container. Very interesting to, to check the eggs. Oh, yes, very funny. Running very fast. Yeah. Running very fast. Someone, someone asking us about apricot. And did did you recognize the family? Not yet. Inserted. Right, right, absolutely, absolutely. Yes, that's correct. And inserted. I'll see the what. Right. And for inserted is characteristic. Okay, active antenna, mm -hmm. flattened body. Uh, thorax is a flattened and very big meso meso mesothorax without parapsidal lines. Uh, running fast, sometimes short, short, very short abdomen, metathorax, and jumping. Where you very often, very much jumping. We have a thorax and abdomen with this shape. And when we change position, we are just jumping quickly. And we have also horns, horns on, on, yeah. on, on legs, on legs. And we use these horns on legs for jumping, yeah. to jump. So that's right. And also this is your, and crawling and searching, checking. We're not searching, we're checking, checking the place with antenna. So it's called when we say, sometimes we can 
identify with a working in work for working position by habitus habitus shape and working working mode how it's working so this is like a possible to identify elephant and the rhinoceros so the same even small insect can be identified uh, someone is asking us question about insects which are living inside inside the wood of apricot oh well, this is a difficult question how to say who was living inside apricot mm, many insects can live inside wood of apricot uh, usually usually leaf boring okay wood boring beetles bupristida you say they are usually metallic like shiny color Oh, maybe oh, oh, Lepidoptera. Ah, yes, we are shining. That's right. Napricot. As I say, people asking about insects. So, okay, black beetle black beetle in apricot so this is can be for my proposal this is a bupristida beetle wood boring beetles but yes that's with a nose so yeah, i think it's a weevil maybe so do you have another insect yes i have let's go I check mine. Okay. Yes, one. One last of the points today for this week. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, right. Also from your beating beating trap. Mm -hmm. Looks like a male. Short. Short abdomen, not female, but male. Someone saying us, hello, Mr. Wolf. Hello, hello. Hello. So what is your suggestion? Suggestion? Uh, I think. Yes, I, it's difficult to say so quickly because some species Eolophide and Pteromalide where looks very similar, but more, more visible either Pteromalide or Eolophide because with shape of a thorax is rounded and with big parts of a thorax as well and big scutellum, big scutellum, middle part this is called Scutellum and big scutellum. So nice. So you collected many different small. And did you record them with a, simply with a iPhone with and small my micro lens? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Can you show this your small micro lens? Okay. Wait. Just nearby. And, and I try to show. Okay, okay. This is small short break, and I show next insect. Ah, uh, next insect. Okay. Something like this. All right. Oh yes, yes. Hello. Put it on telephone. Wait. Yes. Oh yes. So it's attached. Attached. It's a very good attachment. Mm -hmm. 
and so you watch it directly through camera on telephone and this is it's coming like a stapler can you show next just again this show lens. yes 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 oh quite a big lens big lens huh? yes very nice okay 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 my insect my insect is coming come come what what is it? insect why i just no 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 add to stream yes add to stream oh it's mirror day yeah yes this is a Phytophagos small myrida. I, I collected just larva, larva without wings. And after three days, we were sitting inside box and eating some plants. And then we became adult. So it was clearly so we were growing on plants. We are very fast, just running very quickly. I found them just simply on leaves. There are some parasitoids of eggs of Miridae. Miridae laying eggs inside plants, inside leaves, inside stems. Some Miridae are dangerous pests, but if we, you, we collect some stems of plants, keep them like small stems in tubes, in some lucky cases, some parasitoids can come from eggs of Miridae eggs. So this is a interesting good host host for uh, tropical relation study. Okay, let's let's show your insect. Okay. Next one. Your equipment is very convenient. So you can see it directly in the nature. Well, yes. So, we focusing on oak. So, oak? Yeah, oak tree. An oak tree. I found it all positive. <laughs> yes, yeah, just slowly, slowly sitting and just. So we call it gall wasps. Yes. So Sinipida. Sinipoi uh, several families. Several families, not only one family. Several some families of Sinipids were uh, parasitoid parasitoid also. Some some phytophagos, some, some are parasitoids on another cinepids <clears throat> or in other insects. I so some can, so but this one phytophagos just drilling, drilling small leaf. Many, many species the whole complex is developing on, on oak tree, on plants, on, on seeds, on on leaves, on leaves, on stems, on fruit, on on seeds. So the whole whole tree just filled with different insects. Many gull making wasps living on oak. Yes. What what small insect did you collect on on your beaten trap? I am curious. I am curious. <laughs> Show more. Okay. Because you are very careful. You can see tiny and uh, insects, and you have still skills to catch the 
them on your telephone because we're running very fast. Yeah. We're running very fast. All right, right. Tiny. Geometry, there we say. Geometry. So we're just crawling slowly. And did you see that? Scene? It's like choosing where to go, right? And choosing what? Choosing where to go. Because when trying to make orientation on light, light less, light more, just trying to escape maybe in a dark place, more more or less, or somewhere between light and light and uh, light and dark, just trying to escape because everywhere just light, but still maybe try to hide under the shadow, under the shadow somewhere. Some now some small tortricide, tortricide falling down from trees, small tiny tortricide because they pupate not on leaves, they're just falling down on small silk, by making a silk and falling down and pupating somewhere under the leaves in soil. In soil, uh, maybe some species of a tot a geometry they're not very big this one is maybe small yeah, but some small this is a small one mm -hmm. but more, more or less uh, grown grown larvae also can fall down and hide under the leaves because on tree on leaf it's a little bit dangerous place many predators many birds but under the tree somewhere under the in, under the soil under the ground a uh, better place to hide okay we also mm. need light like caterpillars wait a minute okay i try to check mine and you check yours so we're making an exchange exchange so do you have videos? Uh, yes, just the same Pteromalide, Pteromalide where I kept them inside tube and they were trying to mate. Mm. They were just were running. Yeah. They were sitting inside tube, but it was difficult to catch the situation because they were running very fast. Here is here, male and female of Terra Malida. And usually male is making special action by wings, wings and antenna. Flapping, flapping wings. This is flapping wings and just making movement by antenna. And this is characteristic activity with different some variations for species for different species so especially they touch each other with an antenna male touch antenna of female and and showing some movement with winds very active yeah Yes, so it's sometimes funny, interesting to observe how we're just running one in species, running one male, running for another female. <laughs> yes, crawling like on bus. Still, still keeping, still keeping on. Okay, let's show your animal. Okay. Oh, 
someone is meeting us. Okay, hello, hello, who is joining us. What is your country? Visitor, Vaisal Chumayev, maybe. What is your country? Country. Okay, next one. Okay. Quality day. Quality day. No, quality day. Ah, quality day. Right, right. Small size. Pollen. Pollen collecting. I think they're solitary. Right? Uh, well, solitary, but some species making colony. Some species have a small colony with a queen and workers. Where some but some species actually were not solitary. Were making small colonies. Were not so and drones and females. So this is like intermediate behavior between big colony like honeybees and or big colony like ants and many different variations sometimes very in many cases we like to live one near one making territorial co colony territorial colony but some species uh, but some species were even living few queens together in one colony one just entrance so in f several queens can come in one entrance and making different holes one will live in one like a many apartments building mm -hmm. with several queens one queen one place one room next queen next room and so we make several um, brood cells in, but independent brood cells like insect empire yes so why well, this person didn't write us what is his country turkish republic or not what is your country i asked Okay, so, but uh, Halictidae collecting pollen very interestingly on legs and sometimes body covered with uh, pollen, covered. And some Halictidae, very, very, very small, very tiny, very tiny. Some species uh, solitary living in soil, some in small inside some small tubes also in some small tubes with a soft with soft stem we are making like a holes inside inside small cells so we like it very much so different variation in behavior okay so do you have the last one i have last two okay let's go okay let's go okay so this visitor was from azerbaijan i suspected too okay mail is coming mail is cr yes yeah all right cleaning the wings So, what is the family you suspect? Pteromalidae. Right, right. I guess this is a male of Pteromalidae. Very clear, clearly visible, Pteromalidae. Uh, good one. 
But just just only male is difficult for identification. Female is a better uh, developed uh, identification key because the body shape and shape of ab abdomen also used. But for male, not always easy. Okay, next one. Okay. This is the last one. Uh, maybe you showed it before, but interesting one. Right, right, right. So this is easy for identification because very special picture like on my poster. Mm -hmm. The antenna and the wings. And especially wings, yeah, very special. It was really small. But jumping also. Mm -hmm. I like to jump very much. Very long, narrow antenna with a clava on the top. Bulb. Bulb, this is a clava on the top. Narrow, hairy wings. Uh, and also rounded body. Small size, maybe less than one millimeter. With wings, maybe one millimeter. Right. Absolutely, that's correct. My Marida, fairy flies. Mm -hmm. We have a fairy flies, small animals, fairy flies. Egg parasitoids. For my Marida, all known species of fairy, fairy flies are egg parasitoids. Uh, maybe beetles. Or oh, cicadas. Or oh, some weevils as well. Parasitoids of eggs. Because, and sometimes some solitary parasitoids of eggs, but some gregarious parasitoids. So in one egg can develop several species, several individuals several individuals and this is a female because of a bulb on the top mm -hmm. probably genus anagrus or octonus octonus octon not anagrus anagrus longer longer abdomen Fim, fim, because male has just a narrow, very narrow antenna without bulb, without bulb. Okay, what do I have to, well, maybe some final one, some animal, I check, check, check my collection. In my collection, what is this? I show you. Check, check a folder. Okay, final in my final collection, I show not parasitoid, but very common animal. Which is sometimes come into my laboratory too. And this is a honeybee. Honeybee. But it is also Hymenoptera. So the same small Mimaride and small honeybee has a very similar structure because of Hymenoptera. Okay. Okay, thank you for interesting video. Thank you too. Thank you for exchange by videos. What is I try to share what is about next one? I have many small stories just wait. I'll show you this one.
Здесь Ханиби. По Ханиби. Вот такая у нас была в гостях сегодня Мидан. So Ханиби is easy to stop. Some insects also possible to stop. If you use a little bit of honey, like a glue, you can touch for wings, for parasitoid. For example, put a little bit honey or sugary water on wings. Parasitoid will stop and try to clean the body. The honeybee is the same. If you want to stop honeybee, put a little bit honey on wings. And honey, honeybee will stop. Will be shocked because okay, wings is very most important part. Will be slowly, slowly grooming, grooming, cleaning, cleaning the body, or sitting shocked. Big. So that's why sometimes to make take a picture, it's possible to stop the insect using the brush. We will just we will saliva. With sal just with uh, mouth saliva or just with water and put a drop of water or saliva on insect on wings an insect will be just stop stopping not jumping and possible to take a photo will be crawling slowly slowly less quickly less quickly and try to keep body clean and cleaning wings and legs so this is simple method to stop insects before escaping just making it dirty with a water or just with a brush with saliva okay okay thank you thank you for coming today we had an interesting tv show of turkish and ukrainian parasitoids and different insects so do you have a collection of our insects probably for next time yes yeah yes so thank you Aki, for coming thank you for enthusiasm after after your examination little a little bit rest after examination because as you said it was english grammar uh, how was it a uh, difficult questions or not very difficult yeah not very difficult not very difficult so you have you already have some experience mm -hmm. in grammar but today we i was uh, just moderator was talking more so a little bit english telling person experience with understanding this is also very important to speak Speaking, listening, writing and reading skills. Yes. So writing, reading skills and listening skills and and understanding skills. Okay, thank you for coming. So I will drop next time link for inviting when we have time on the weekend. So let's come together, check some video from our collection and collection still coming because of some time summer time so some insects were still coming from from the nature under your iphone and under my microscope so thank you for coming my hornets sending you greetings this this is a big hornet no, like this. Oh, this is on the top. Sorry. We labels. Hornets sending greetings. And my assistant. My assistant sending you greetings. Say, okay. Thank you for coming. Thank you, assistant. Uh, yes. Very, very patient assistant. Very patient. Very careful. Just waiting. Waiting before just go into the street okay thank you see you soon on our connection chat okay good luck thank you everyone who will be watching it in recording mode so thank you for coming and for curiosity in insects for curiosity in we say in parasitoids and of course 
Okay, I, I, I have some last video about, I'm not sure, maybe it is, I, as I say about Patreon. I have Patreon page, this is special page where, where some people can use credit card. In Ukraine, everyone, some even some children have a telephone and also credit card. With credit card, very easy to pay for telephone and to pay for everything. Even with credit card, easy to send money to me, to you or anyone. Just click, click, click on computer and money coming electronically, electronically. So if somebody, someone interested can come to our Patreon page, we're really welcome. Check our projects and check some scientists who I indicated on this Patreon page. And so you can understand who is who and make your pleasant donation for development of our equipment, recording equipment, because equipment sometimes making troubles. So we can make a new equipment to take more interesting videos for our wide audience. So welcome to our channel and welcome to Patreon. And thank you, Akif, for interesting video. Thank you. Be careful with your equipment and try to catch it so very quickly. Very quickly. Because we are jumping very quickly. Yes, they are so fast. Yes, thank you very much. Good, good lens, good equipment. Okay, good luck. See you soon on my channel. See you. See you.